Welcome to another Forcepoint Tech Talk episode. In this video, we will demo the Forcepoint CASB's data at rest scanning capabilities and show what actions the admin can take to remediate the data that's shared incorrectly. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave us a comment below if you have any questions. Enjoy! Let's start off by understanding that the primary functionality of the Forcepoint CASB solution is to provide data protection and user access management for cloud applications. These capabilities are provided through two different primary deployment types, API and proxy. For this demo, we will show the capabilities of the API deployment surrounding Office 365 specifically. This capability is available within any sanctioned cloud application where an API is available, such as Box, Dropbox, Salesforce, G Suite, ServiceNow, etc. To correctly build out a data protection program, an organization needs to be able to identify where their sensitive data is stored who has access to their sensitive data, and then be able to mitigate when their sensitive data is being shared or stored incorrectly. The Forcepoint CASB solution is purpose-built with this capability in mind. The Compliance Data Classification Dashboard provides an organization with visibility into what type of data is stored within each application, what category that data falls into, who owns the data, and whether that data is shared publicly. Let's dive in and see more detail about the type of data that is shared publicly. Here in this report, we can see that there is a multitude of data types that are being shared externally. We can see the number of sensitive files that fall into each data type, the category, the number of occurrences or times the data was found within the file, and the number of owners for that data. Here we can select the number of sensitive files, which will take us to a specific detail report for that data type. Within this report, we can see that there was one file that included data for this data type. This shows us when the scan was performed, what the file name is, what type of data is contained within the file, how many occurrences of the data is within the file, the sharing status, who the file is shared with, the owner, and many other details. This report has shown us what data is stored within the cloud app and that it is shared externally. Since these sensitive files shouldn't be shared externally, let's see what we can do as the admin to remediate these events when they are discovered. Let's navigate over to the Audit and Protect tab, Security Policies, Custom Policy Editor. This is where we can see all of the custom policies that have been created for this cloud app. To help remediate the incorrectly shared file, we will set up a new rule to remove the external share permissions. Here we can add a policy. This is where we can set the conditions of the rule I would like to point out that there are a few different ways to configure the condition. If you are a CASB only customer, then you can select the predicate of data type, then select the appropriate data types that you want to remove the permissions for. Or if you are a CASB and Forcepoint DLP customer, then if you have your DLP policies already configured, you can select the Forcepoint DLP predicate. Once you configure the condition, then you will want to select the mitigation activity in the top right. Since we're focusing on the data at rest mitigation, which is an API-based feature, we will only configure the API-based mitigation. So here, let's select the Remove Sharing Permissions. Then, on the right, select External. Then click Save. Now that the policy and mitigation action is configured, when the system scan detects that a file at rest contains sensitive data that is shared with an external party, it will remove the external sharing permissions. You can review the file analytics report to see the files that were detected during the data at rest scan. If you scroll to the right on this report, you can see there is a column called mitigation status. This column will show remove external sharing, which indicates that the mitigation action was applied and the file is no longer shared externally. Thanks for watching this Forcepoint Tech Talk episode, where we were able to identify data at rest and then remove external sharing permissions from those sensitive files. If you have any questions or ideas for another video, then please leave us a comment below. If you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to show your support for this channel. See you next time.